hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a related field and in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a reference field the relational field please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblens channel under the home screen you can see odoo 17 development tutorial and here right now we are working on this fields development tutorial and by the way this is the main playlist of the odoo 17 and in case you want to learn older versions you can see how to development and once you click here you can see different types of playlist available with the different topic wise with the real test cases so let's back to our main topic how to create a related field guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot so let's say i'm giving you one example what is that related field name right in the school name this one abc school right you can see right now we have this abc school sorry not here but let's say the invoice right in the invoice you want to see the customer detail or invoice date or payment reference or any of the fields right you want to see in in the sales order here that is also possible so the first thing is we have to create one relational mini to one field of the invoice right now i can also show you the school but here like we don't have a many fields in the school profile so due to that i'm not uh, giving you the good example so let's check the invoice part at the moment the model okay so here let's say the students model right here in the student profile or oh, let's say here this is also the good example because we don't have a much field here let's say invoice id fields many to one account.move the same field we have to register in the views right and now i'm going to upgrade the module uh, let me show you the exact meaning of the related field uh, guys yeah uh, one more thing if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm like this way please check editor level playlist i already explained right and right now i'm i'm doing upgrading the student module and uh, once i will go to the school profile here and refresh the screen so you can see here uh, we having this unknown attribute right uh, if you found such things right so for that we have to go to in the manifest and here we have to depend on the account after that right we simply need to upgrade the module and also we go to the apps here update app list student module uh, which is this one you can see here account is here right now i'm trying to upgrade the module now i'm going to the student school and now you can see this one the, the problem is right we have to understand the error first so i'm trying to access outside of the model right in the origin of this model is the account module this one this is the file see this model and this model should be available uh, we have to add as a dependent right after it will work fine so otherwise like it will give us such uh, annoying issue like that field is the reference id is error message okay now let's say i'm trying to add let's say the first one i'm going inside to this form view right and here i want to access let's say who is the salesperson right so salesperson is the missile admin now this field right this field i want to also visible here 
in the school profile and which is always dynamic uh, not the static one and we don't need to like uh, select by default whenever you select any of the inverse automatically that uh, particular related field automatically change so let's see how it is working right so before that let me active the developer mode now uh, let's see here the invoice user id right so i'm also adding here invoice user id fields dot uh, let's say that field is the uh, relational field many to many right we may sorry many to one field and which is res dot users model so here i'm also using many to one res dot users right so here the related field we have to use but we don't need to use here let's say related we don't need to use like this because that is the particular attribute if you remember in each and every session of the fields right i'm, I'm showing you some by default attributes let's say string selections write help read only uh, let's say the index and all so those are the attributes here one more attribute is related I didn't explain previously because might be there is a chance you will confuse what is that meaning so now in this session you can see how you can create also related field so here we have to mention related equal to and here we have to provide the existing field name the invoice id dot invoice user id here we have to upgrade the module oh yeah one more thing is we have to copy this one and we have to paste here and basically this is a read only field you cannot edit anyhow so i'm going to again in a school profile right and now you can see the missile admin right if i will check this one so you can see here it's automatically hide why if you go to here if you go here the salesperson is blank and let's say if i will add here mark demo save so here you can see it's mark demo so basically this is a read only field and due to that you cannot edit and related keyword itself says this field is related to this invoice and this invoice specific field right now let's talk about the non relational fields let's say the any of the fields here you can see so let's say dead field right this invoice underscore dead and the type is also dead so here uh, let's say one more thing I, i'm trying to add is let's say dead so you can also add any name uh, invoice underscore dead fields dot dead right and here you can also use related equal to and you can use here invoice underscore id right and this will be name after that you have to copy this one the field name and let me paste here we have to again upgrade the module i'm going to school nalanda school and you can see this that right how it is automatically appear because of this related field so if i'm going to the invoice this that right automatically appear here so let me change the bill right you can see it's blank right see it's automatically changed you you don't need to do anything so this is called as a related field now another thing is this field at the moment we created as a virtual field how is that virtual field because if you go to terminal right you cannot see here extra sorry star right you cannot see here those two this invoice user and invoice that here right and due to that it's called as a virtual field and due to that virtual field right if you go to the preview here and you cannot see that specific field name in the group by you see but if you go to the filter right 
and here you can see this invoice that right reference this invoice user id this is many to one field which we created so in the filter you can see that one so here the thing is when this related field we assign to the specific uh, view and while we open that view after it will automatically take the value from this particular related field and it will set here right and let's assume you have a lot of data in a billions of data right in this case you don't need to always uh, use as a related field here simple you can use as a store equal to true store equal to true so this store again one more attribute right and once you use this store equal to true that means by force Odoo automatically create this invoice user id as a mini to one res dot users in the wb dot school model i mean here in this table right and whatsoever the value change it will automatically add here so let's try i'm trying to upgrade the module i'm trying to refresh the screen and now I'm trying to open the terminal and now you can see invoice user id 6 right if I will go to the IIT the thing is uh, invoice don't have any invoice and due to that it's a blank but now let's say if I will use like this save I'm going to the terminal You can see the invoice user id is also here uh, let me do one more thing save right you can see 25 and the value is 2 now if i'm going to here in the search view in group by you can see the salesperson is here right if we use here store equal to true after it will display here like all are the database fields i mean the permanent fields available in the data in the table it will automatically display here it's also display here right you can see so i hope you understood about the related field here the thing is uh, let me recap one more time so related field is nothing but one attribute we have to use and from the specific field right the let's say the many to one field the relational field we have to get the specific record set some specific fields to the current field current model right and here you have to display for the reference purpose in this case you can use related field so for that you can use related equal to that field name which is always exist huh? so you can see this one is exist available in this model if it is not exist this invoice underscore id that means it's not working properly and it, it by chance like by default auto automatically throws the exception and here we have to mention that particular field name and this particular field again one more thing is here this particular field whatsoever the signature is there let's say signature means whatsoever field we assigned in the account.move the same field we have to also assign forgot about this uh, let's say the field name you can add anything here any name it is not compulsory you have to use the same field here okay that is fine if you don't use the same field but the compulsory is whatsoever field signature you used in this model you have to compulsory use if you use here the boolean you have to use here boolean you if you use here the date you have to must use here date or date time write the selection the integer float any fields you can use here that specific field after it will working like a charm okay another thing is store equal to true so here store equal to true means like let's say you want to store this particular data into this table in the database side you have to use the store equal to true 
that is the purpose of this store equal to true by default it's a false right and you cannot see this field in the database side so due to that either you can create a virtual field or you can create a physical field in the table in the database table right so yeah i hope you understood about this related field and yeah another thing is the read only uh, let's say here you can add here the invisible no label right the help command here those the help command here you can use here the string right you can use here those attributes in the python side as well as in the xml side i hope you understood about the related field if you still have any question regarding this related field please comment below and see you in our next session and our next session would be how to create a compute field all right and what is the main difference between compute field and related field we will see in our next session